हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम अंकित एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई एम हेयर विद माई वीकली प्रोडिक्शन एंड एनालिसिस फॉर डाउ जो एंड नेजेक हंड्रेड लास्ट वीक इन माई डेली एंड वीकली एनालिसिस ऑल द लेवर्स वर अचीव एज वी प्रिडिक्टेड इट इज क्लोज द वीक विद अ स्ट्रॉन्ग ड्रॉप दोज हु आर न्यू टू द चैनल लेट मी शेयर दैट आई प्रोवाइड माई डेली एंड वीकली एनालिसिस फॉर यू एस यूरोप यू के एंड इंडिया इंडिसेस and also commodities including gold and silver and crude oil and natural gas so you can press the bell icon and stay tuned with the latest analysis also i release my uh, daily analysis there are couple of analysis videos which i release one with the asia session opens i provide a global markets and commodities forecast for which is valid throughout the day and then one video specifically for dow jones and nasdaq 100 just before the us cash session opens so that sets the tone for the day also we are going to give you the trading level so that is very important where to enter where to exit and what should be the take profit and what should be the stop loss that is also very much important in this video also we are going to do the same so please watch till the end and press the bell icon such that you can stay tuned with the latest analysis also press uh, also do like share subscribe and comment friends this is also very much important for me and it's a great motivation to hear from you all to get a like to get a share across definitely it helps me a lot so let's start the analysis with us 100 first now last week on us markets besides the charts the macro economic indicators and the news weighed on towards the closing of the week so whether it is russia ukraine geopolitical tension whether it is higher extremely high inflation and the expectation of uh, increase in interest rates now this is what is taken a toll on the markets towards the end but whether the charts are in sync or not let's have a look first we'll look with at us 100 now us 100 right now now this is us 100 on the daily charts let's ignore this candle first first this is a technical glitch here now you can see this was the drop retracement lower highs and now looking downwards so this is second after this minor retracement lower highs and now looking downwards so this is second consecutive candle and close the candle with a minor tail and a minor wick now this indicates that possibly we might see a third red candle also the so the beginning of the week could be with a red candle that is what is expectation that next week it might try to again hit this zone at 3900 which is going to be a very strong support and in fact can go till below 3700 now second part of it is whether in first two days it can achieve this double bottom here or and retraces and reverses from there also from there we will see whether it crosses if it retraces whether it is able to cross 14500 600 zone or not else what will happen it will try to it will try to retrace and then again drop and once it drops beyond this level at 13700 13600 definitely that will be a indication that it is going to go bearish also for the week it appears 14000 is a very strong support 13900 and 13700 these three levels i will be watchful of so po potentially it may try to hit this zone somewhere here in the very first day or the second day second trading session forming a smaller red candle and then it may try to bounce back now this is one expectation on the daily charts now let's have a look at the broader time frame you can see here on the broader time frame see this was the channel in which it was trading it is clearly come out of this the you know the bottom of this it's in fact is very high also if you look at the broader channel i'll i'll rather show it show it to you in a weekly charts now uh, let's have a look at the near term rather on the near term charts this is a channel it is trying to trade into it is uh, broken this channel tried to trade above retrace above but failing to do so again falling back into this this channel now it if it continues to trade below 13700 definitely sky is the limit how far this could go in the coming weeks the bottom is towards 13000 and 12500 levels we may see these levels or it can go well below but whether that is going to happen or not we that is a far away case so let's stick to the nearest future now and we have already seen the nearest future now i was 
telling you about the weekly charts now looking at the weekly charts on the weekly charts let me try to give you a broader look now this was the rally now how beautifully it is looking downwards and see at this point of time uh, it is very difficult to say you can see this was the point after which a rally then it dropped perfectly to these levels this was the point rally and it is dropped perfectly to these levels and in fact below these levels so whenever such rise is there definitely a drop has to follow and since this pandemic times here uh, it is it has seen a strong rally and trying to reverse a bit here is the peak you can see clear cut peak is there so it is trying to form a mountain out there the next stop which we can expect for us 100 is at around 12000 13000 levels definitely which appears certain that it might try to hit 13000 levels in the coming days now look at the nearest future now on the nearest future charts you will see uh, so first let's talk about the past year the nearest past year you can see this was the retracement and this week it has broken out failed to go past the high at around 15000 levels and now trading with a drop now this is the first red candle of this channel it uh, i can say this series possibly next week it may try to give another uh, red candle and this is going to be a sharper red candle that is my expectation that it is going to give a sharp red candle but if you look at last two weeks so look at the weekly charts here and looking at the near past here the last two last week you can say this was a reversal minor retracement we saw failing to go past these levels or at 15,000 resistance it dropped significantly now this is the first candle red candle of the series and hence we can expect that a second red candle to follow now the high of this candle uh, the reversal only I will suggest that to be considered beyond 14,800 level so once it crosses 14,800 that time you can consider that the markets have reversed and it will continue in a bullish territory again as this is the first red candle it can give you the second red candle which I am expecting that probably this time it is going to give you sharper red candle taking it towards 13,000 500 and in fact below levels also it is very much possible it is very much probable and in fact as we saw on the daily charts we can see a strong drop in the first two days itself where it will try to hit 14,000 and 13,800 levels but yes a reversal confirmation to be considered only once it is below beyond 14,800 levels also the shorts to be considered only below 14,000 levels so once it breaks 14,000 you can remain short for the week itself once it breaks for uh, 14,800 you can remain long for the week itself in between these 800 points we have to be a little bit cautious now let's have a look at the monthly charts now the monthly charts are self-explanatory what it is trying to form you can see here here the wick has been formed for the month and now it is trying to form the body so for the beginning it has created the wick now it will try to give you a red candle how far first support at 13 uh, 14000 then 13700 which will try to indicate a double bottom but the markets are bearish and hence you can expect that within the month of february at least 13500 or it it in fact it can go till towards 13000 levels and close with a minor retracement towards 13,500 towards the end so a probable drop is certain that is what it appears on the monthly so look at the gravity of it it is trying this was a high uh, heavily red candle uh, pulled back closed with a high it left the wick, uh, tail out there such that this candle can cover it up now it is trying to cover it up one probability it can close with a uh, lower high higher lows and probably it can try to form lower lows which will try to take it towards 13,200 300 zone towards the end of the month so this is also one of the probability one thing which appears certain towards the end of the month we might see it trading towards 13,500 200 300 levels somewhere in between 13,000 to 13,500 it might try to hit towards the end of the month or any time within this month 
and then from there we will see how it behaves it can retrace a bit so take your positions accordingly now let's have a look at the indicators now indicators on the daily charts you can see this is the 100 period moving average this is the 20 and 50 period moving average now it is trading below all these also now the 20 period moving average is below the 50 and 100 indicating that the near term bearishness in the markets and also below all this indicating that yes markets are still very much into bearish zone so for any upward move as i said on the daily charts 14600 and 14800 levels to be considered only once it goes past this zone then only you should consider this as a reversal else it can try to drop from 14 till 14000 may reverse a bit and then drop that is also very much possible in between 14000 to 14800 we have to be little bit cautious about keeping a positional uh, positional trade whether it is a long or a short either ways now directional uh, you can see the trended price oscillator it tried to enter into green but failing to do so heavily looking downwards right now also the directional movement now you can see it is widening the gap is widening it won't take a sharp green candle and cross like this uh, uh, it really happens but now since it is widening it may try to widen up a bit then parallel and then it will try to cross so maybe couple or three more days you can see it trading in bearish zone stochastic was its comfortable level now and now looking downwards you can see sharp uh, downward curve here and now it may enter into oversold position hence next two three days we may see a heavy beating or heavy drop on nasdaq 100 that is what it appears and look at the variance here trying to hit at extremely high positions here and from there we can see it reversing once it enters here and then like this the crossover may happen as how we have seen here see this was the level it has seen it late then crossed over here and by the time it tried to consolidate so probably now it may enter into an oversold position in next two three days itself where we may see 13700 13500 levels uh we may see heavy beating on nasdaq 100 for next two three days it appears so now uh let's have a look at the uh macd are converging on the daily charts and may cross over once they cross over again it will enter into sell zone rsi is again trying to enter into oversold position looking downwards so considering all this let me jump to the levels directly now next week see it closed the week at 14 to 70 levels you can take a long entry at 14 400 now this is the nearest entry point which i think beyond which you can be certain that it is going to give you at least 100 200 points even if it has to drop it will give you 100 200 points what is the next target the next target is 14 5 10 and 15 of 14 6 20 now this zone till 14 6 20 is very important very important resistance zone here beyond 14 6 20 it will try to hit 14 8 30 now this zone is again very important so you can keep a positional trade once it goes beyond 14 400 at least it will give you 100 points even if it has to drop so once you achieve this target you can close this trade you can again enter into a uh, long position once it drops or if you see it dropping you can drop heavily if you see it a uh, heavy drop then you can enter a short there itself and uh, yes beyond this 14 8 30 is certain i don't expect that it is going to go beyond this but if it breaks 14 8 30 then definitely it will hit 15 100 and it can reverse towards 15 300 because these are markets anything is possible nasdaq 100 has seen a good beating since long now i can reverse but i doubt i will expect it to drop however beyond 14 400 uh, I will be moderately bearish beyond 14600 I will be uh, rather you can say very slight bearish and more towards uh, leaning towards uh, bullish zone beyond 14800 I will be bullish extremely bullish closing all my shots I will expect it to head towards 15100 15300 levels please trade accordingly now what to happen when it drops where to take a position now if it drops you can take a long short entry at 14100 
so these 300 points we have to be very cautious here in between these 300 points once it draws below 1400 you can be certain that it is going to touch 14000 the next support 13935 the next support and then it will head towards 13840 13800 and then 13700 below, below 13700 it will see 13 13500 and below levels so take your positions accordingly below 14100 we will be very we will be bearish and below 13800 will be very bearish so take your positions accordingly now this is all for nasdaq 100 and do watch my daily analysis before the us cash session and the global markets forecast it sets the tone for the day now let's have a look at us 30 now us 30 charts are very much similar to what we saw on us 100 this was the drop stabilized here retracement lower highs now this is the second red candle here and ignore this candle first of all this is a technical glitch this is the second red candle here and with a wick and a with a wick and a tail here now it appears it is certain that we might see a third red candle here which will try to take it towards 34 500 levels and in fact can go well below towards uh, i will expect this is going to be towards 34000 levels if it continues to drop so remember this has come out of this the lower highs and the support here at 34,000 is very much there then 33,700 in between these two levels we have to be very cautious it may try to break this zone if it is bearish definitely it will try to break this zone so uh, it is certain that probably we might see a drop till 34,000 and in fact if it is bearish it can try to give smaller candles try to take it towards 34,000 form a double bottom here and then reverse so mark my words it can form a double bottom and it can reverse also this is applicable to nasdaq 100 it can form a double bottom and it can reverse this is what can be the expectation if it continues to drop it is going to be a heavy drop now look at the uh, daily charts on us 30 so you can see this is tried to form a curve and also look at the lows here now in fact the long term uh, the bottom of this chart is perfectly lying at around these levels 34800 so if this breaks this channel on the downside definitely it is going to hit this zone at 32500 700 levels so if it breaks this zone at 34000 this time definitely we may see a good break on us 30 where you can expect now see what i am trying to say is you can see the pivot at around 35000 we have seen 37,000 almost 200 points so this is very much certain that it is going to hit 33,000 this is also certain and at this time in the near uh, term if you take it a bit here anyway the pivot is at 35,000 it may try to hit 32,500 levels also this is very much possible so uh, that will complete its journey 33,000 appears is certain probably it might try to hit in the coming days now let's have a look at the weekly charts on the weekly charts similar is the story you can see here now this was the rally here the peak is done and it is trying to take a drop this is what is it appears to me and this was the rally consolidated peak is here and now it is trying to take a drop how far this could drop as i said 32,500 looks certain if it continues to drop now this is on the near term now let's have a look at the near term weekly charts minor retracement and after this a drop now a red candle is certain so the next week i will be bearish i will expect it to at least achieve 33,000 500 levels 33700 levels these levels are important almost we might see 1000 1500 points of drop here on uh us 30 
नेक्स्ट वीक दिस इज माई एक्सपेक्टेशन बट एट द सेम टाइम वी शुड नॉट इग्नोर वॉट कुड बी अ गुड एंट्री लेवल टू गो लॉन्ग सो आई विल रिकमेंड वंस यू सी इट बियॉन्ड थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड यू कैन अगेन टेक अ लॉन्ग एंट्री वंस यू सी इट बियॉन्ड थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड यू कैन टेक अ लॉन्ग एंट्री यू कैन यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट इट टू राइज सो बिकॉज द प्रीवियस वॉज हायर हाइज इट मे ट्राई टू इनफेक्ट अचीव द हायर हाइज इफ इट ब्रेक्स बियॉन्ड थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड एंड स्पेसिफिकली थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड जोन डेफिनेटली इट विल राइज शार्पली एंड इट विल गिव यू ग्रीन कैंडल ऑल्सो वंस इट ब्रेक्स थर्टी थ्री थर्टी फोर थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड यू कैन टेक अ शॉर्ट एंट्री एंड इट यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट दैट ऑलमोस्ट थर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड इज सर्टेन सो आई एम गिविंग यू अवे ऑलमोस्ट एट हंड्रेड पॉइंट ऑफ ऑन द डाउन साइड एंड ऑन द अप साइड वंस इट ब्रेक्स थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड डेफिनेटली इट विल ट्राई टू इट थर्टी फाइव सिक्स हंड्रेड थर्टी फाइव एट हंड्रेड जोन सो दिस इज वॉट इट अपियर्स नाउ लेट्स एवे लुक एट द मंथली चार्ट नाउ लुकिंग एट द मंथली चार्ट can you see can you say what you see now it is the wick has been formed it is trying to take a drop and it will drop so towards the end of the month at least 34000 this is going to be a support it can try to hit and this time it is going to go below so by the end of the february you can expect it to hit 33000 levels and in fact can go well below towards 32500 now this appears a probable probabilistic expectation where you can expect us 30 to drop towards the end of february we might see it trading below 33000 levels and i am a little confident on this that we may see a good drop now we may see it trading towards 33000 and 32500 levels now look at this it has formed a good base here at 34000 so breaking 34000 is something i will observe once it breaks 34000 you can remain sure, certain that you will get another 1000 points from there and you can expect it to drop sharply towards 33000 and 32500 levels take your positions accordingly we can expect it to drop now let's set us are indicating whether they are indicating the same thing or not now indicators on the daily charts similar is the formation 20 50 100 moving average and it is trading below all this in fact the 20 period moving average is below 15 and 100 indicating near term bearishness only long is as i said recommended beyond once it crosses this zone at uh, that is the 20 period moving average at 35000 and It, once it goes beyond, so it is at thirty four nine hundred here. Once it breaks this zone and trades higher towards thirty five thousand, you can take a long entry. Then the target is again thirty five two hundred, thirty five four hundred zone and thirty five six hundred zone. So this is what it appears that you can take a long entry at. Now, on the downside, there is no support. It can drop heavily. Directional movement entering into red and the uh, DPO entering into red. Directional movement also widening. probably indicating that it is still bearish now look at the stochastic on the daily charts trying to hit the uh, oversold positions again lower highs has been done at least it should hit lower lows it must take and that is why it will try to break now heavily also this is on the downside and hence one can remain short on us 30 also this is going to converge and cross over once this cross over the macd crosses over definitely we might see a good fall in the coming days rsi uh, rsi you can say it is trading at the comfortable levels let's see whether it gets in its test and enter into oversold position with a good drop so uh, considering all this let me jump to the levels here now i will recommend you to go long at 35050 only once it breaks this you can expect 35200 is certain from here also it can reverse 30 after 35200 i will be bullish on us 30 then 35400 and 35500 35600 so after this after this 35200 one can remain bullish one can expect it to head higher than 
can be expected below beyond that sky is the limit however previous highs were at around 35800 now it may try to limit itself towards 35600 or so levels at the same time if you see it dropping below 34550 you can take a short entry there and below 34550 you can definitely expect expect it to hit 34350 See, all my figures are in round. I am trying to give you, uh, see, whenever you try to find out resistance and support, couple of things, many things actually come into picture. You have to see it on Fibonacci. You have to see on uh, price action. You have to see on the past gaps. You have to see many things you have to see when deciding which can be the stronger supporter levels. And it cannot be so precise. I cannot stick to one and give you one precise level set. Okay, 34, 33.35. I cannot do so I don't do so so always keep a question of 5 10 20 points because this is the smoother out prices now going on the downside you can definitely expect 34 100 33 so immediate also there is a support available at 34,000 33 900 33 it is possible that it is going to break below this 33500 and below levels can be expected in fact below 33500 it will try to get support only at 33000 levels so it can break heavily below these levels for the month i will expect that uh, till it does not break 35050 again this month one can remain short one can expect and Put a stop loss at 35,050 or 35,200 and one can remain short for the month. We can expect it to drop till towards 33,000 levels. Big statement but yes, I am bearish on US 30. So this is the outlook for the week. Now stay tuned with my daily analysis. Once for the global markets and one for US 30 itself. And in fact the global markets also includes the Dow Jones and Nasdaq 100 which gives you a bright picture of throughout the day what can be happen and after 12 hours you see what my daily markets analysis for cash session says so stay tuned with that you can also join my telegram channel which helps you in the trading direction also you can join my mentorship batch the next batch starting very soon i think the seats are about to fill but still you can get in touch 15th february is the date and this mentorship course definitely will help you become a proficient and efficient trader and Reach out to me for any of your trading or training related queries. My email ID and telegram ID are mentioned in the description. Also, press the bell icon. The next analysis on crude oil, natural gas, FTSE 100, Germany 40 and uh, Asia markets definitely will give you a broader outlook what to be expected from markets in the coming weeks. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable week ahead. Thank you.